Today, we're going deeper than themes, docs, and wallpapers. Linux Mint already feels good out of the box, but under the surface, the kernel is making dozens of decisions every second. How it uses memory, when it writes to disk, how aggressively it schedules tasks, how responsive the desktop feels when things get busy. In this video, I'm tuning Linux Mint 22 at that deeper level. These are practical, real-world tweaks. Nothing experimental, nothing unstable. Just adjustments that make the system feel smoother and more consistent during daily use. This is exactly the kind of tuning I do after I've lived with a system for a while and I want it to behave more like my machine. Let's start with memory behavior. By default, Linux is cautious with RAM. It prefers to move inactive data out of memory earlier than most desktop users actually want. That's great for servers, but on a desktop, it can lead to unnecessary disk activity. I'm adjusting how aggressively the kernel uses swap so that active applications stay in real memory longer. The goal here isn't max performance numbers, it's responsiveness, faster app switching, less hesitation when multitasking. This is a small change, but it affects how the system feels every single day. Now, let's talk about how Linux writes data to disk. Linux caches writes for efficiency, but if it waits too long, you can get brief pauses when it finally flushes everything at once. You might not even realize what's happening. You just feel the system slow down for a moment. By tuning dirty page thresholds slightly, we encourage steadier background writes instead of sudden bursts. The result is a system that feels calmer under load, less random lag, fewer surprise slowdowns. Next up is scheduling behavior. Your system is constantly deciding what deserves CPU time first. Window movement, animations, background tasks, updates running quietly in the background. Desktop systems benefit from prioritizing interactivity, so here I'm adjusting scheduler preferences to favor smooth input and UI responsiveness without starving background processes. You won't see a benchmark chart change dramatically, but you'll feel the difference when the system is doing multiple things at once. Now let's move into compressed memory. Instead of pushing idle data straight to disk, Linux can compress it in RAM first. This keeps more applications instantly available and reduces disk usage under pressure. Once enabled, the system becomes more forgiving. You can open more apps, keep more tabs, switch tasks faster, and everything stays responsive longer before the system has to touch storage. This is one of those features that feels invisible until you disable it. Then you immediately miss it. Let's shift gears and talk about interrupts. Modern systems handle a lot of hardware events, network traffic, storage activity, input devices. If all of that gets handled by the same CPU core, you can get uneven performance. By enabling intelligent interrupt balancing, we let the system distribute that work more evenly across available cores. This reduces spikes and improves consistency, especially during multitasking. It's a quiet optimization, but it contributes to a smoother overall experience. Now let's look at power and performance behavior. Power management isn't just about battery life. It directly affects how quickly your CPU responds to demand. Poor tuning can cause hesitation, delayed boosts, or overly aggressive downclocking. Here, I'm enabling a balanced power profile that favors responsiveness without locking the system into high power draw. Applications feel more immediate, animations feel tighter, the system reacts when you expect it to. Again, nothing extreme, just sane defaults for a desktop that's actually being used. At this point, we've adjusted memory usage, disk behavior, scheduling, interrupts, and power management, all without touching experimental features, all reversible, all designed for long-term stability. Now I want to show you how to confirm these changes. Not because you need to obsess over numbers, but because understanding how to check your system gives you confidence. You know what's running, you know what's active, and you're not guessing. I'll verify memory behavior, active services, and kernel parameters in a way that's clear and readable. No clutter, no unnecessary system panels. And here's the important part. None of these tweaks are about fixing Linux Mint. 
Mint is already solid. This is about aligning the system with how a desktop is actually used in the real world. If you ever decide a tweak isn't for you, you remove it. That's the beauty of Linux. You're not locked in. You're in control. So, to wrap this up, these kernel-level adjustments don't scream for attention. They quietly improve how the system feels hour after hour. Less friction, more flow, fewer interruptions. I'll list every command used in this video clearly in the description so you can apply them at your own pace. No rush, no guesswork. If you want more videos like this, real Linux tuning that respects stability and common sense, let me know. There's a lot more depth we can explore without turning the system into a science experiment. Linux Mint doesn't need hype. It just rewards understanding. And that's exactly why it works so well.